Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute roar. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Jim Miller. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Hook has been there all night. There's another one by Miller. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. 
real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big punch lands over the top. Austin follows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big body. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clip. Right left combo by Miller. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Miller gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Got a clip with the right hand. Shots there. And he landed the right hand there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Watch land. Now we get back to the ring. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Straight right, he misses. down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Nice straight punch. There's no give on that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. Horrible. Back and forth we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice loop and punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Miller's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely, you're gonna see a lot of different techniques but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right punches there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands and he's got it hurt very bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lands flush with that right hand. How about that shin? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh. Three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice punch here. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast that he always brings his hands right back to his face. He's throwing these punches in combination to really dictate the face of the opponent. Great punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, big right hand, yes. Let me see that. Double jab landed there by Lee. Goes the right hand there. Right hand upstairs. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Let's go, let's go. Big head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, that's a good right hand. Miller's lower jaw is just nasty at this point, really swollen in that area now. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He got the turtle in that kick. Slips the shot. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, 
And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Man, that left hand is money in the bank, and he led with it there. He led with it from the backside. He threw that left hand. I wonder what he's trying to set up the plow with as the fight goes on. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lands with the right hand. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Beautiful kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Connects with a right. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice punch lands over the top. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Miller gets hit with a kick. Just over three minutes to go. attempt, but unable to land. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, perfect head kick there. Establish that jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hand on point. Back and forth we go. Punch over the top. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight left counter is true. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big leg kick land. Check on the leg kick off right there. Nice punch land over the top. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kick that's leading the dance. Take down right now. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Ooh, what a punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Right hand upstairs. 
15 seconds to go. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Strong defense there to block the shot. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch by Miller. Nice leg kick land. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Superman punch now. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, thunderous leg kick on him. Flipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Keep busy. Shot to the body here, blocked by Lee. Oh, big punch land. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Where's the takedown? Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up. Oh. He's, like that He's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. Miller going for the leg kick, and nothing doing there. Big kick land. Lands the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. What a punch. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, big head kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Nice one, two there. Good punch land. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Right on the button. 
45 seconds remain in the round. How good is that right hand? Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Miller's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Great punch landed with so much power. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Liver kick. All right, keep pushing forward, let's go. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. It's a good right hand right there. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Got to check these kicks or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. The center line slips the punch. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. What a punch. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Hands up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, collar 
Chai. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Miller. Just misses there with the left. Good a punch as he's thrown on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he that. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, oh! what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice kick. Final seconds of this fight. So a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 50 45 declaring the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed UFC So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new